I have two boys that started here in preschool when they were in the twos, uh, and then we continued on with uh, each grade. And the question my wife and I kept asking ourselves was, is there anything that High Point Friends is not offering us that another school or another opportunity is? And the answer was no every time we asked ourselves that question. Academically, uh, both boys have done very well, not just because of what they're capable of, but what the teachers here at High Point Friends have done to pull out the best in them. And that is uh, one of the strongest reasons to stay in the school for us was academics. Well, my son, who is now in middle school, uh, in second grade, we didn't feel that they were being academically challenged enough, and so we looked around. We actually did a tour, and one of the very impressive things that I saw on that tour was the hands-on learning that happens here at High Point Friends. The science class was done by the creek, and in the science room, they collected and brought in fish that they found in the little stream on the school campus. I really like science because I really like the outdoor. I'm an outdoors person, so I really just like getting into that kind of stuff because there's a lot of hands-on projects where we might go down to the creek and take a sample and look at it under the microscope or something like that. Ever since fourth grade, they've been allowing me to basically remake the entire schedule for me just so they can accommodate my special needs for accelerated math and language arts. If I need help with something after class, I might stay back and ask the teacher a few questions. Or if I'm having problems with something, I can really ask any teacher I need to about something. Well, at my old school, we would really just stick to our own grade, but here we mix and match with each other in other grades. Middle school often interacts with the lower school. I know fourth grade does reading buddies where they actually they help kindergartners learn how to read by reading to them. And at lunchtime, we'll sit at tables, not just by grade, by gender, and it doesn't matter what grade you are. Everybody is treated the same and given the same opportunities. The biggest thing for my wife and I, I think, was compassion, trust, and accountability. Being able to trust the educators here, the compassion that was shown, and they really, really, truly get to know not just the children, but the families as well. For service learning, they teach you to be kind and be respectful to others. We have this thing called the spices, and it basically reminds us how we should act towards each other. It's just an abbreviation for simplicity, peace, integrity, community, equality, and stewardship. We do practice Quakerism in many different ways, and one of them is before we start each class, we just have a moment of silence. I take this as to trying to get focused on the new class that's at hand. So I'm trying to think about what I'm going to do this class and what I want to get accomplished. And the children live these principles, and you see it in how they are with each other, you see it in how they speak. So it builds more than just their academic, but it builds their social poise as well. And I think it's a great foundation for any student to move forward to high school and to pursue just life, really. It's preparing them for life. I'm really happy to be here because I can be myself and it's a very diverse community. Mm -hmm.